After much anticipation, Abode finally released their Apple HomeKit support for the IOTA gateway. In this video, we're gonna go through the setup and general thoughts. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Chris Young from HomeKit Geek, the channel where we bring you new smart home content every single week. If that sounds like it might interest you, do me a favor, consider subscribing below and ring that bell to get notified when there are new videos. In this video, we're gonna be looking at the Abode IOTA Gateway, which is this one right here, the one with the camera. This is a security gateway. They're rated very high in do-it-yourself security gateway. Really great, cool solution. I will put um, a link up here for some of the videos that I've already done on this. This is also what I would consider to be the first Apple HomeKit supported solution on the market. So this also supports uh, Amazon Madam A, the Amazon Echo ecosystem, as well as Google Home. So you're really safe for all the big three on this guy. In this video, what we're gonna do is take a look at the setup and um, basically give you some thoughts on what it's been like to live with this for the last couple of weeks. Bottom line is it's a really solid system. Um, there was a couple bugs that got in the initial release. Absolutely, that happens, right? This is new functionality, but Abode was quick with firmware updates. We've already seen firmware update from the initial release to address some of the bugs that happen as they get out in the wild, which is always a good thing, right? That shows us that they're serious about what they're doing. That shows us that they're taking uh, customer feedback into account. And with that, let's take a look. So in late November, Abode finally released, at least for the Abode IOTA security gateway, their long-awaited Apple HomeKit support. This has been promised for a couple years and we finally got it. So this is, and I can confirm, only on the IOTA gateway right now. So your Gen 1, Gen 2 gateways are not currently supported, but there is good news that those will be coming in the future. So what do we know, uh, what have we been able to verify from the initial announcement? Well, supported devices, the IOTA gateway, obviously, which we're gonna take a look at, and that gets exposed as um, the camera as well, which is really cool, the contact sensors, although not the key fob, which is one of the things you get. Um, we do get the motion sensors, but only the newer version of the motion sensor. So make sure it looks like the one uh, up above, which has the Apple HomeKit logo on it, as well as the occupancy sensor. We got confirmation that the second keypad would be also be supported, but the logo is not on the website. So uh, if anybody knows or can confirm that, please definitely post in the comments below. We also know that the complete Abode line of contact sensors is supported, but where does that leave us with the rest of the Abode accessories? Well, where it leaves us is that we're going to see what is going to be exposed over time as part of their certification process. So we could be getting their flood sensors, their plugs, um, all these things. We also know that the third-party devices, Z-Wave and Zigbee third-party devices, more than likely will not be coming in the future. So if you're waiting on that, don't hold your breath. Let's take a look at the actual setup. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is log into our Abode app and of course uh, iOS 13, new permissions, all that good stuff, access to Bluetooth, which I'm going to need to connect to a new gateway. And we get this announcement firmware update available. So it could be that you've already got the firmware update. Now I will tell you, um, I saw a little bit of weirdness in that I said update firmware and then I went in and set up. HomeKit after a certain period of time, you know, you got to wait for the gateway to reboot and all that good stuff. And then I clicked on the add to HomeKit button. And what I got was update your abode system. So I'm not sure if I had to go through two updates or the first one didn't take. I really don't know. But again, in the, uh, in the interest of being honest with you guys. So I updated my gateway for what appeared to be the second time firmware updated, click on the done button, and then I'm going to be able to generate my new HomeKit code. So once I do that, it is a software-based code, and you can see here that it's got the QR code as well as the pin at the bottom. So because this is the QR code, what this means is that I can add it to a NFC tag. So let's do that now. So I've covered this in a video before, so I'm gonna go through it real quick with some video magic. Essentially, you scan the QR code, you copy the contents of it, and then you use your NFC application to write that in as a custom URL, at which point we are good to go and we can just add it using the NFC tag. So now that the NFC tag is on our IOTA gateway, we'll go over and just add it here. Open in home and there we go. So because I use the NFC tag, I don't have to scan in a code or type in the code. And as you can see, the Abode IOTA by Abode Gateway, it's all coming in. And the first thing that we see here is the base system itself, which is a security system. 
Once we get that added, then you can see all the other devices that are underneath it, including the occupancy sensor, the uh, camera, uh, the security sensor itself, which are all in default room at the moment. And of course, I've got another 14 accessories in here in that I've got uh, contact sensors, motion sensors, those kinds of things all over the house. So the first thing we're going to do is put this into the room where it's actually located, which is, of course, going to be in my office, as are most things. So we put that in my office. And then we do a little video magic to get through the other 15 accessories as quickly as possible. So one by one, you're going to have to go through and understand where those accessories were, and you're going to have to put them in whatever appropriate room you have within your home kit home. So now that we've got the abode system added, let's take a look to see how fast it is. And contact sensors work just great. You can see they're very responsive here. Open and close exactly as expected. Uh, the little delay on the screen is actually more due to the fact that I've got my animations turned on than um, the actual system. So it, it seems to be working great. So all of the accessories work as designed. The other thing that I wanted to show you guys was the camera. So it is a little bit laggy. Um, it's not perfect as far as um, showing what's on the screen as to what I'm doing uh, here, a little wave there, but it is, a, you would expect that from here. And as well, because it's HomeKit based, you also get to be able to use applications within the HomeKit ecosystem. So anything that supports it, like the great HomeCam app, for instance. This is not HomeKit secure video, uh, nor have I heard any release or, or rumblings of Abode looking to support HomeKit video, but we'll look for that in the future um, if that news comes up. So final thoughts. It's taken us time to get here, but I think Abode has done uh, a, a really good job. Um, I love the fact that the new firmware came out uh, after a couple of weeks fixing bugs. Tells me they're serious about this. What do you guys think? Is this something that you would consider adding to your house? Are you excited about this? Let me know in the comments below. See you guys next time.